Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to Mystical Munchies, featuring the Marvel Eat the Universe cookbook. This week we're starting with the appetizer, Dazzler's Pizza Bagels. First up, let's tell the story about this one. If you weren't dancing in the 80s, then you weren't really there. Well, I kind of wasn't, well, I kind of was and I wasn't there, but we won't get into that. Dazzler sure as heck was, with her mutant power to turn the oomph, oomph, oomph of the club into the pow, pow, pow of light blasts. And don't yell at me for trying to put the emphasis on that, that was probably really bad. I get pretty pumped up just thinking about it. Also in the 80s, if you weren't eating pizza bagels, then you weren't really there. Chronologically, if not canonically, Dazzler and this dish, ha dish had to have met. This recipe is my interpretation of what that would look like. Edible glitter can be found online in myriad colors. Th these would be an incredible addition to any 80s themed Marvel party. Well, now I think we're going to explain why I needed the edible glitter from my last product unboxing. So, the ingredients are waiting for us at the table, so let's head in that general direction. I am taking some liberties with the recipe, but the unedited version will be in the description down below. So the recipe calls for six miniature bagels halved horizontally. I'm using regular size, a regular size bagel because this is also going to be lunch for me. Then we want a cup of creamy prepared tomato sauce. I'm just using regular tomato sauce. Two cups of port wine cheese. I'm just using sharp cheddar because the only port wine cheese I could find was a port, was a port wine cheese spread and I don't trust put, trying to put a spread on top of tomato sauce as well. And we want edible glitter. In this case, I'm using pink and blue edible glitter. This was part of my last Amazon product unboxing. So let's head into the kitchen and start putting this recipe together. I've got the oven preheating to 350, so that should be getting to temperature any second now. What I was starting to do here, as you can probably guess, I've got a baking sheet slightly buried under there that I'm getting ready to line with aluminum foil. About like so. Then we're going to throw the bagel on that. Paper plate can hit the bin. Then we're going to take the tomato sauce and spread it over the, spread it on the bagel. I would not at all be surprised that this was way too much tomato sauce. But alas. Especially if I'm only making one bagel and it's normally this recipe normally makes six mini bagels, but again, I'm taking, I'm taking some liberties here. I'm also kind of wondering what the oven's waiting for to come up to temperature, but that should be enough pizza sauce, or enough tomato sauce there so I can dump the excess out. We'll drop that in the dishwater. Then we'll take our cheddar cheese, which again, this would be the part where you'd be using the port wine cheese. After you've grated it, of course. We're going to spread it on the bagels. That should be plenty of cheese. We'll just spread it out a bit. And now we wait for the oven to come up to temperature. I said we wait for the oven to come to temperature. Should be coming up any time now. I'm gonna work a little bit on getting some of this sauce down the drain while we wait. And there's not, granted, there's not going to be a lot of cleanup from this recipe because it's a relatively simple one, but still, I try to do it 
generally as I go on cooking. I try to have a I try to have a sink of dishwater ready to go whenever I'm in the kitchen for an extended period of time. Ah, that is well. I also got I've got the sink on full hot right now, so I shouldn't be surprised that the there we go. Trying to get the last of the trying to get rid of the last of that tomato sauce. There's the oven up to temperature, so as soon as I put the aluminum foil away, we'll put these in the oven. I'm going to have to move the camera a bit just to get at the oven. Oop. Forgot I got the cast iron skillet in there. Then we'll let that bake for seven minutes once I hit the timer start. So we'll come back once the... Once the bagels are done. I ended up giving the pizza bagels a little bit of time to cool, but that was unintentional once I felt them coming out of the oven. So now we get to solve one of the admittedly weirder mysteries on Mystical Munchies. What on earth did Phoenix Knight need edible glitter for? If you haven't guessed it by now, what I needed it for was to decorate the pizza bagels after they came out of the oven. So we've got... So I just randomly chose two of the colors from that 12 colored bundle. I've got pink and blue. So we'll get the pink one open. There we go. Whoa! Okay, we'll spread the glitter around a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with this. That should be enough. And we'll do the same thing with the blue glitter. Trying not to go too crazy with it. That should be plenty there, so I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup, but then once I'm done, I'll see you guys back at my desk for the taste test. Pizza bagels are waiting right over here, so let's go ahead and give one of these a try. Probably gonna be quite cool by now. And normally you wouldn't be eating these with a fork or something like that, but that's what I'm gonna go with here. It's an interesting take on a pizza bagel. It's admittedly it's actually something I've never tried before, but I can imagine it's very it's going to be very easy to customize these for whatever you want. So this was this was listed under the vegetarian recipes. Probably easy enough to throw a protein on here like a like mini pepperoni or sausage crumble or something like that and actually get some protein out of it, maybe a more complete meal, I would say. But that's just my opinion on that. That is our first recipe of mystical munchies for the month. So next week we're going to be making the side Deadpool's chimichangitas. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.